Good morning, everyone. Five Farley here. It's February 22nd. It is Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. We have got a short slated NCAA basketball game. So I got an interesting uh, take here today. So you want to tune in here uh, just for another minute, and I'll get to NCAA basketball's best bet uh, on a Friday night. So uh, yesterday, kind of an interesting day as well, coming off, uh, it ended up being a one and three day. However, I don't really feel like I was on the wrong side in many of those games. Um, it, they just didn't play out in my favor. I mean, one, the uh, best bet was uh, uh, Minnesota going against Michigan, and and you know Mich- Minnesota couldn't hit a three. And so uh, you know when you're 0 for 10 on your first three pointers going into the second half, um, really hard to hang in that game. Meanwhile, Michigan was uh, I think they hit seven or eight threes before Minnesota finally hit their first. Um, which once they did, they came right back into the game. They, I feel like they would have won the game had they been able to hit the threes uh, uh, up to that point. But it is what it is. I'm not making an excuse. I'm just saying when it comes to capping, constantly making adjustments, constantly reevaluating teams and what happened, what went right, what went wrong, so we can always uh, evolve and progress um, as the numbers you know, change and, and uh, capping needs to reflect that. So um, just saying yesterday, there's not a lot of adjustments to be made um, at, at the end of the day. Um, now, okay, so I wanna, let me bring something up real quick here um, about tonight's games. Um, and I'm going to do it in one second. First, let me say, if you haven't subscribed, click subscribe. If you haven't hit notification bell, do that so you can get my picks as soon as they come out. NBA's best bet coming out as well. Um, as well as patreon.com slash Farley has the rest of my plays. Uh, you can always check that out, patreon.com slash Farley, as well as uh, Twitter at Farley is the handle. All right, so... Tonight's slate of games, Ivy, I always stay away from. Uh, Not a fan of it. Don't like to go there. One game I really dug into and was considering taking the home team here was Davidson traveling to Rhode Island. This is not the daily best bet, by the way. But it was really interesting. I had no idea. Rhode Island, number 353 in all college basketball when it comes to hitting the three ball. Um, Their last three games, 14% is what they're shooting. 14 percent unbelievable they are last in the entire college basketball in hitting the three uh they are last at home in hitting the three so uh while i was excited to uh maybe take advantage of their defense that uh, holds other teams to 29.1 percent at home to shooting the three ball in which davidson can run a four guard set um, and they like to shoot the three. I was thinking I could exploit that uh, by by getting a team that uh, defends the three well. Of which, if you look at Davidson's losses, three losses in division, all three of them they shot under 32 uh, percent in those games. So and in their victories, they shoot over 32 percent. There's a clear distinction. Now you have Rhode Island, a good team that can uh, uh, hold Davidson's three point shooting down. Um, I just fear that they can't hit a three themselves. So anyway, took that game off the table because of that reason. So uh, that's not where I'm going tonight with the best bet. But uh, interesting breakdown if you want to dig into that one a little bit further, if you get some confidence in uh, where you see the threes going, um, feel free to jump in on that one. All right, so tonight's game, a little bit interesting take. All right, we're going to first go to KP. KP has uh, St. Peter's Marist The spread, just as it is, um, let's see, it was Marist, I think, is a six, six and a half point team, worse than the average team. Meanwhile, uh, St. Peter's is way down the list. They're at like 15.8. So we're looking at about a nine point spread there, plus home court advantage. We're looking at about a 13 and a half point favor uh, for, for Marist. The line opened up at seven and a half, though, in favor of Marist and then has moved towards St. Peter's since then. We're getting sharp action on St. Peter's. All public action is on Marist, and we have uh, something going on here that's moving this line uh, towards St. Peter's. First, I could tell you St. Peter's has already beat Marist. They beat him by nine earlier this season. You may say, hey, that's a revenge spot. Hasn't been the case over the last uh, uh, four seasons. I went back. They're one and six against uh Uh, St. Peter's Marist is uh, over the last four years. So kind of an interesting uh, spot. Uh, It's a little bit of a flat spot. They just beat uh, Kinnipiac as well as Monmouth, as well as Kinesius, all three of those games on the road. Now they're coming back home before playing Siena, uh, which will be a revenge spot for them to get a win back on Siena. 
Um, I, I just don't see this as being a spot where they can afford to give six away to uh, the road team in St. Peter's. I know St. Peter's is garbage. I know they're last in the league. But if they do have any bit of hope, it's against a team they've already beaten. Um, only three victories in conference, and this is one of them. Um, I'm going to roll with St. Peter's tonight. Uh, I'm going to follow this sharp money that's come in that's bet this line down a point and a half and which is already a very lopsided line. Look for St. Peter's to uh, hang in this game and give them a dogfight uh, uh, here over at Marist. So I'm taking St. Peter's Peacocks plus the six tonight. It's been bet down to six. Um, and good luck. I would expect that line to keep moving. So grab it as soon as you can. Good luck, everyone, tonight. We'll see you again soon.